Hey guys, this is C from simplygfx.org. Today we'll be creating a retro slash vintage effect and we're going to be adding it to this picture here. You can use any picture that you like, I just found mine online. Um, yeah, hope you enjoy this video, so let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is add a new adjustment layer and I'm going to get a hue slash saturation layer. Um, and all I'm going to do is just lower the saturation to around negative 65 and increase the lightness to around positive 5. Next thing I'm going to do is add another adjustment layer and I'm going to add a vibrance layer. And you can increase or lower your vibrance to make the colors pop or look more dull. I'm going to make them pop a bit and increase it to around positive 37. And then I'm going to add another one and this is going to be a brightness slash contrast one and I'm going to increase it to around 20 and increase contrast to around 30. Now you can see this is what my layers look like um, after I'm finished and I'm going to add a new layer and all I'm going to do is just get my brush tool and I'm going to pick a nice color to go on my picture and I'm going to get a nice orange color. All I'm going to do is just brush it on, um, just in random places and squiggly lines or whatever. Um, and I'm going to put that on color dodge and turn down the opacity so it doesn't look so bright and sharp. Next thing I'm going to do is get another color, and you can see, to go with my yellow color. And I'm just going to take maybe a magenta or bright pink and I'm going to brush this on as well, just randomly, just do it how you want to. Um, and that's on the same layer. Now I'm going to make another layer and take a, maybe a blue or purple, yeah, a purple, um, and I'm just going to brush the purple on. And this time we're going to put it on a different layer setting, and I'm going to put it on lighten and reduce opacity. Now we're going to make another layer, and this time we're going to um, pick a nice bright colour. Um, I just picked a nice bright yellow to create some lighting, um, and I'm just brushing it on the hand, on the face, and just, yeah, wherever. And I'm putting that on colour dodge and lowering opacity again. Again, you layer, and I'm going to take a blue colour. This is just going to make it look um, a bit more interesting and colourful and funky and um, just brushing it on with my same chop brush and um, colour dodge, oh that looks a bit bright, um, I'm going to put it on lighten instead so it preserves more of the colour and lower opacity as usual. Um, and now you can see I've got all my colour layers, I'm going to make a new layer, um, adjustment layer and I'm going to Add on a gradient map, and this is going to give our overall picture a nice hue, a nice um, warmness, especially this gradient map, orange to purple. Um, you can probably just make it on. And there are three ways to do this you can set it on lighting, you could set it on screen, or you could even set it on soft light. Um, they all have different effects depending on what your picture looks like or what overall effect you're going for. I'm setting it on screen and lowering opacity and this is what I get. Now that we've got our grading map on there, I'm going to take a new layer and I'm going to go to image, apply image and all I'm going to do is just take a burn tool and I'm going to burn around the edges and this is just going to create some depth in our image and give it a nicer contrast. You don't have to do this, it's optional. I'm just doing it to give it a more vintage effect kind of and also I'm gonna make the picture look more intense I guess you could say and it also creates nice lighting. Now you can see when you're done I'm just gonna be adding some touch-ups by adding some more adjustment layers. So go to your um, layers, adjustment layers and I'm gonna get a photo filter to give it more colour and I'm going to go with a yellow photo filter. Be careful with these, you don't want to overwhelm your picture with them. So I put it around 8%. If you put it any higher, it'll look awful. It'll look like a pea stain or something. 
Um, and I'm going to add another one, and this time it's going to be a purple one. Um, I chose a violet one and put it around 9%. Um, and my last one is just going to be probably a red one. And just to give it a, hot, a more variety of shades, I think. And I put it around 6%. Now the only thing missing in our picture is a stock, so I'm going to add a stock to give it more lighting and just add a bit more interest in it. And I found this one online, I'm going to select and copy it, and then I'm going to go back into my picture and paste it on there. Now I'm going to go to edit, free transform, and I'm just going to rotate it a bit so it fits nicely and gives us a nice flow. Just play around with it until it looks right. And there are two ways to do this. You could set it on lighten or you could set it on screen. I put it on screen because it was just a nicer option for me. It looked brighter and nicer and just gave it an extra prettiness to the picture. And I'm going to reduce opacity because I don't want all the attention. So new layer, and this time what I'm going to do is take my paint bucket tool and fill it with black. Um, and I'm going to filter, render, and I'm going to get a lens flare. Now um, I just left my brightness as it is, and I took the um, default lens flare. And I'm just going to you can move it around whatever direction you like, um, as you can see. And I'm just going to leave it like this. I'm going down onto my model and I'm going to move it around by going to edit, free transform and I'm just going to rotate it a bit so that it works with the flow of my picture and I'm going to set it on screen and as you can see it looks really nice and bright and we want to kind of integrate it into the natural kind of landscape so we're just going to um, put it near her face so the lighting is all nice and lower opacity to around 75% and as you can see we're pretty much done you can add anything else you want I'm going to leave mine as it is so hopefully this tutorial was helpful remember to like the video and subscribe to our channel for more thanks for watching another simply GFX tutorial and I'll see you next time